everybody knows that the only thing worse than downloading a dating app is the crushing weight of loneliness, but for Disney adults, it can be hard to find somebody who is as obsessed with the Mickey Mouse Monopoly as they are. Desperate to find their prince or princess charming, some Disney lovers have started trying Disney adult dating websites. As I was perusing TikTok the other day with my eyes glazed over and my thumb swiping automatically like the dopamine junkie that I am, something came across my For You page that made me stop scrolling. So my husband and I met online, just like a lot of people do nowadays, but our story is a little different. It all started on the site Meet Upon Maine. If you told me this couple's collection of limited edition Disney figurines was lined up against a wall with bags over their heads while an armed man held them hostage behind the camera, I would believe you. And here's the adorable part. She was Disney bounding as Ariel in her profile pic, and I was Eric. A match made in heaven or at least the Magic Kingdom, which is the same thing to us. If I die and find out that heaven charges $5.50 for a churro, I'm gonna be a little upset. So I actually had to look up what Disney bounding is, and apparently Disney has a rule that adults can't wear costumes in the park. This makes sense. They don't want to be held liable if some asshole dresses up as Mickey and starts, perhaps, helicoptering his mouse katool in front of a group of children. That'd probably kill the magic a little bit, and they already have more than enough lawsuits on their white-gloved hands as it is. So to get around this, park guests just dress up in normal clothes that vaguely resemble the character they like, so they can still cosplay without being escorted out by the happiest security on Earth. And guess what? We still use Meet Upon Main to make friends with other Disney nerds just like us. In fact, tomorrow, we're meeting up in person with our new Star Wars friends at Batuu. Ah, so apparently this website is set up for people to make friends, too. Not just for couples rapidly approaching divorce and looking to swing like Tarzan. Nice. It all started with our shared love for Disney. So make your profile at meetuponmain.com today. You never know who you'll meet. Statistically, there's got to be at least a few Disney adults watching this video. And I, I have to ask, I... Do, do you guys ever, like, role-play Disney in the bedroom? I, come on, come on, you, you, you can tell like, me. Do you guys put on your little costumes and then Ariel shows Prince Eric why it's better down where it's wetter? Does Aladdin take that magic carpet for a ride? If your partner dresses up as Donald Duck and ties you up, are you in fact Disney bound? Do she groove on your emperor till you knew? <laughs> So this couple's video was a sponsored post on the official Meet Upon Main TikTok page, and Meet Upon Main must be handing out free tickets because they've managed to convince other couples to promote it as well. Finally, your prayers to the Disney gods are answered. Meet Upon Main is a dating service aimed exclusively at people who love the Disney parks. So if you love Disney and don't want to experience it alone, check out Meet Upon Main and you might find somebody to ride the people mover with. I'm giving my followers a discount on the first month, so hit that follow button and check my bio for more. Wait a second, did he... did he say discount? There's no way they're charging actual money today. Holy s***! $89.88 a year?! You're telling me it costs more money to message people on this Disney adult dating website than a whole Hulu subscription? Bruh. Yeah, so Meet Upon Main is a dating slash social networking website where people that are looking for friendships or serious relationships, they can go on, sign up, build a profile for free, and then just start searching for users. Okay, at first I wasn't really interested, I admit, but now that you've described it in that bored monotone, I am absolutely hooked. But before we continue, I'd like to take a second to talk about today's sponsor, Lalo. Valentine's Day is just around the corner, and whether you're still swiping through dating apps or you've already found your sweetheart, Lalo has the perfect Valentine's Day gift for you. Exploring and stimulating your body is very beneficial for both your physical and mental health. Lalo's wide selection of adult toys allows you to enhance this experience with a variety of different colors and styles to choose from. But don't worry, there's plenty of silicone to go around and Lalo Lalo has many offerings for couples to foster intimacy with each other as well because 
After all, flowers are nice, but a toy from Lalo is a romantic gift that won't die in a week. If you're having trouble shopping for your Prince Charming this February, check out Katie Thorne's gift guide for men on Lalo's blog, where they share tons of spicy tips and tricks. Celebrate love this Valentine's Day by reconnecting with yourself and or your significant other slash others. Exclusive discounts are available now at lalo.com slash Valentine's Day, link in the description. So act fast to get a special gift with your purchase and make sure to use my discount code FUNKY10 for an extra 10% off your order. But if you thought Meet Upon Main was the only Disney adult dating website, then you would be both optimistic and wrong. Switching sides. Dude. <coughs> oh, hi Jake. What are you doing here? Even though, from what I can tell, Mouse Mingle has been around as far back as 2015, they have virtually no social media presence whatsoever, except for a small Instagram account with less than a thousand followers. And when you look it up on TikTok, most of the videos you get are videos of just actual mice. Uh, Mr. Jingles is uh, having a shower, I think. Uh, he's got some company there. <laughs> Sorry, what were we talking about? At this point, the mission was clear. It was up to me to risk my dignity and internet security to check out these Disney adult dating websites for myself. But there was something I had to do first. Hello? Hey, are you busy? Uh, no, what? I just wanted to ask uh, if I had permission to download uh, uh, some Disney adult dating apps. Yes, yes. You don't think I, that I'm gonna find the love of my life on on Mouse Mingle? Hey, hey, if you do, you know that's. You don't think there's gonna be stiff competition over there? Well, I know you're not gonna find the love of your life on it because I'm not on it. So sorry. Aww. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye, baby. I love you. Love you, too. Permission had been secured, but I wasn't about to register for these websites as myself. I mean, I'm, I'm just so attractive. I would absolutely destroy the delicate balance of the Disney adult dating pool ecosystem. That's... That's definitely the only reason. It was time to get into character, so I lost the glasses, took out the sissy liberal piercings, and shakily applied some eyeliner. You guys always tell me that the red wig I use for skits makes me look like a completely different person, so I pinned down the soy boy mullet, and I slapped that on. But I needed to accessorize to really sell this, so I headed over to Party City, where I found out that the pink tax had struck the rodent population. How tragic. I threw on a Disney shirt, and... I threw on a Disney shirt and voila, Callie was dead and McKaylee Morris was ready to get wasted and finger blasted at Epcot. I needed pictures to make a profile, so I took some selfies, put a filter over them, and airbrushed out my mustache and the edges of my wig. Damn, McKaylee's kind of giving milk vibes. Am I learning something about myself? I hate it when that happens. The first service I tried out was Meet Upon Main, and I chose the free option because, damn it, I have a budget when it comes to committing to the bit, and I already blew that budget on the $6 Mickey Mouse ears. First off, their servers must be running on the power of Disney magic, because this site is as slow as the line for Splash Mountain. Every time I'd click on something, it would take like two minutes to respond. Once I was registered, I went to edit my profile and... Body type? Why do they need to know my... Full figured Gaston build? Yeah, when I make a dating profile, I like to go out of my way to advertise myself as average. That's what that's what really brings all the boys to the yard. I've never understood that line. What are they doing in the yard? I hope they mow the lawn while they're there. I put in a random age, height, and gender. Then I put green as my eye color because I feel like McKaylee would be the type of person to insist their eyes are green, even though they're obviously blue, and then be like, oh well, if you see them in the right light, like you can totally see the green, and it's just like, okay. Sure, if this is what you need to believe in order to like yourself. So this website is really weird in that the moment you create an account, you can immediately see every single picture every single user has posted, which that's a wonderful idea. I, I can't imagine why other dating apps haven't implemented this. I was immediately greeted with a gallery of very sweet looking middle-aged women who seem like they would be a delight to go to brunch with and some men. There's also tons of faceless accounts, which looks super sketchy, but I understand why people would not want pictures of themselves on this site. 
Next up was Mouse Mingle. Unlike Meet Upon Main, you don't even need an account to see pictures of every single user on the site. And if you thought Tinder was toxic, every single profile on the site is rated from one to five stars by other users, so it's really just a, a forum of public shame. Like seriously, uh, what did Marie do to lose those two stars? They even have a top rated category and a most discussed category. I don't even want to know what you have to do to be the most disgust on Mouse Mingle. I'm just a Sally looking for her Jack. Someone to celebrate Halloween on Christmas with. Winky face. Okay, I mean, at this point, the, the line between parody and reality is becoming blurred. I, I already had all this Nightmare Before Christmas stuff in my apartment. You can also put your age preference on your profile and it goes from 19 to... to 108. How? inclusive. Once again, with the weird body type descriptions, why, why, why do you need to know if I'm big and lovely? I, I'm just your average Disney-loving MILF, Mouse Mingle. Random zip code from California and boop, done. I had to wait about 10 minutes for the verification email and then, oh, the connection to marketing.mousemingle.com is not secure. F*** it. After logging in, I checked the My Matches tab, and the matching system for this website makes absolutely no sense. Profiles are listed by percentage of compatibility. I don't know how they calculate this percentage, but I think they need to check their math, because every single user on the site was labeled as being 86% compatible with me, whether I organized it by newest first or most compatible for Wait, R.L. Stein? Holy f it costs $99.55 to talk to people on this site? It's even more expensive than Meet Upon Main? Anyone who spends money on these sites should be immediately audited by the IRS. They also have this tab called Stories where they show featured profiles and success stories. Oh, okay. Huh. There's only been four success stories since 2017. Well. Romance is dead. Look, to be fair, I think the general idea of wanting to date someone that has similar interests to you makes complete sense, but even devoted Disney adults are creeped out by these sites. I've never been on it, so I can't vouch for like its legitimacy or the quality of individual that you will find on there, but um, it is there for you. I prefer myself to find somebody the old-fashioned way. I've been replying to a lot of comments saying that I think Mouse Mingle is not a great site. So basically, you can see like everybody's photos that have been uploaded recently, which is kind of weird. Just anybody's photos. They are horribly designed, way overpriced, and are probably not safe. I should delete my account. But seriously, I'm, I'm not trying to make fun of people who like Disney. I mean, I'm, I'm quite literally surrounded by children's toys. I, I don't think I'm in a position to make fun of people for liking cartoons. Hercules, Emperor's New Groove, Hunchback of Notre Dame. They are all absolute masterpieces that I have rewatched many, many times. I think fan culture can be a beautiful thing that brings people together, but you shouldn't allow your devotion to a company to overshadow your entire personality. It doesn't seem like the best idea to center one of the most important aspects of your life, who you bump uglies with, around Disney, laying your relationships on the technicolor altar of a massive media conglomerate who would happily bury you underneath Cinderella's castle if it meant saving a dime. Especially considering that their movies have started to become utterly soulless cash grabs. I mean, Come on guys, let's be honest, Disney's, Dis Disney's been going downhill. But Disney loves Disney adults. They want you to spend every single waking moment of your life devoted to their properties. Hell, they've even made entire housing communities so that the most devoted customers never stray too far from the Magic Kingdom. Please enjoy your movies and your theme parks, but do not waste your money on one of these Disney adult dating websites. And be careful that you're not so worried about the magic of Disney that you miss out on a magical moment with someone who might end up being the love of your life. Hold on, I just, I just got an email from Mouse Mingle. Vincent winked at you. Okay.